I've never really been a fan of transport aircraft, but every once in a while I do build one. So ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to build this C160 Transall from Revell and I'm going to build it in this nice camouflage scheme of the Luftwaffe with that lovely little bumblebee on the rudder. My name is Shabir and let's get on with the unboxing of the kit. Let's begin with the assembly of the kit by cutting the parts of the sprue. Every kit presents a different challenge and this came with its own. Here you can see me cleaning off the flash that was present on various parts and I had to sand them off. Another challenge with this kit was the absence of locator pins to join the parts together. It was clearly evident that these sections like the upper part of the fuselage the sides of the uh, rear landing gear bay doors and the lower part of the fuselage had these huge seam lines which would have to be filled. Once all the seam lines and the gaps were filled, it was time to join the wings together. And as you can shortly see, I noticed huge gaps in the wing assembly right here. And then my handy dandy manicure nail file Dremel came in really useful here and it helped me to quickly sand off all the uh, filled up areas. I'd like to talk a little bit about the propeller assembly. So the instructions actually call for assembling the entire propeller with the cowling together and then placing it on the model. However, I realized that it would be a good idea to first paint up the propeller fan blades and then work on the cowling separately along with the main kit. And it turned out that the idea actually paid off. So that's something you would want to watch out for while building this kit. The central section of the fuselage that joins up with the wings had to be reconstructed a little bit with some modeling clay which is fevicryl shilpkar because it had an unwanted dihedral in it which had to be corrected.
Once I was satisfied with the bodywork, I began with the painting part by appreciating the upper part of the aircraft. For the lower part of the aircraft, I used my Sharpie that I've shown earlier. And this time I wanted to experiment with appreciating with the Sharpie and see the results. The painting guide asks for a German flag marking on the rudder and this is available in the form of a decal in the main kit box but I thought rather than use the decal I would go ahead and paint the colors onto the rudder. And here are the beauty shots of the completed model of the C-160 Transall of the German Air Force or Luftwaffe. As you can see, it's turned out pretty good. My two cents, well, one, I shouldn't have gone for the pre-shading with the Sharpie because it took almost 10 coats of green to cover the Sharpie up. I've been warned about the uh, Sharpie bleeding through the paint but at the time of making this video which is about three days after the model was completed the sharpie still hasn't bled through so that's something that remains to be seen i would probably do a review of this model a month later but that's whenever it comes all in all the kit and the model turned out pretty good i'm pretty satisfied apart from the little bit of flash and the usual problems of filling sanding and the usual body work the kit has been an enjoyable build so that's it that's all there is to it thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video build like comment and subscribe i'll see you again in the next video bye bye and keep safe